mengi yamesemwa katika magazeti katika mesemwa it's always mengi yamesemwa it's always dande bata you the bread dande bata ano aginya ni ate kirea ni ate flash however regardless we keep it going now we manifested this on ourselves now so someone asked me a question ajuri wa mudaka the woman king what does it mean so i didn't even have to go and watch the woman king because i know about the extreme energies that are going on in the air i remember every time there's something like the woman king uh, Ar armenia uh, luciferian nison um fatima so every time you hear in the world something being pushed into the people the puppets us as woman king you have to understand that the woman is an allegory to feelings so they want us to react to some extreme feelings based on the energies above i remember uh, the last the last major shift we had uh, was in 2012 this is when satan was in libra and was leaving libra so remember satan is exalted in ibra so satan the planet so satan is exalted in libra and in 2012 we had saturn in and out of libra so during that time they you remember you can remember how the movie this came up with during 2012 to do with waters so it was a year whereby they were micro engineering us they were uh, programming us they were controlling us they were steering our mind through either their movies and their titles and their music based on what you call social engineering to react or to change our relationship aka how we react and feel about a certain thing based on the movies that they gave us from 2012 you go back to 2012 and see the movies that were there based on the videos i'm making and you can comment on the movies in the comment box that's how you know you are now becoming a true spiritual uh, guru or you are becoming a sensei a spiritual sensei is someone who is sensitive to their senses so if you are sensitive to your senses you are sensitive to your senses which is your spirit then you are sensei and that's how you become a spiritual sensei or a soul guru now so forget about the women king forget about the uh, the woman king so the woman king the release of the movie woman king is the allegory of the queen dying or the queen being exalted or that uh, elizabeth thing being exalted into something new that is how they birth something new a new way of how we react to emotions and feelings around us and how they do this is with the movies so the woman king is the first movie on how you are supposed to feel or react or how you are supposed to uh, uh, have emotions and reactions based on that movie the queen king or the woman king so you have to look at the timing and everything now to make kwa queen to make kwa kwa woman king we back to the video so the reason they will keep practicing these things so new the reason their witchcraft still works against you is because they understand that god is a respecter of teamwork God does not respect single people individual person God respects teamwork that is why they continue being in rulership even when you keep saying that they used to put you through slavery that's why you question your god you're like god why do you allow our enemy to continue being strong god why do you allow people who oppressed that for 400 do not punishing them the teamwork god does not respect someone as a single person and so them they understand this so they have been practicing rituals as a group as a collective so they have their own so group whereby they practice their rituals hardest and they are even ahead of you because they are running the world so they make you add more attention to their rituals and spell through their arena games through their independence days through their holidays through their uh 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 uh, 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 uh what, what do we call them as myth whatever um whatever day they come up with so you give that day an energy since they created for you uh all the way to uh them creating a holiday for you so you think it's a good thing 
that you don't have to go to work on that day because you're supposed to be on a holiday based on the fact that uh, for you to have safety, shelter, stability, and, se and security, you need to go through so many loops to get that. So you think it's important to be at home and celebrate a holiday just because you are getting breadcrumbs one day of work. Forgetting that you are exalting that name because you didn't even choose the date or the deity or the names or the ritual that is going to happen. A.K.A. the rituals may be happening in a stadium and the way they face, you are not even asked to decide to face left, eyes right, do something much seeing go in circles uh, like fires or shoot guns it has got nothing to do with you so you are still exhorting or you are still giving your energy to that and you know what we say where energy goes the body goes so you give your energy and by default your body has to follow that and do admit that that is a holiday and continue being trapped in that cycle that wind that the bubble that wave that that light that light that that spirit those spirits that have agreed to do that as a collective that legion that the legion that legion of men in a region a location there were mentalities men looking like yoda just sitting back and laughing while you struggle because you don't know how to see it deeply and how it's supposed to be so now the divide and conquer spell has been used for so many years so back during the days it used to be slave trade after slave trade it used to be the world wars after the world wars we still have wars but even now we still have more wars wars looking like you having to fight to put a plate, a plate of food on top of your table that's a war it's a war because now you have to sweat more blood and tears to just fuel your car that's war but you're missing the point uh, keep up the what do you mean good work which work this is not work this is not work for me me i don't work me i don't work me i don't have a job i do not agree to any terms and conditions that that whatever i'm doing becomes a job because a job can become tiring i don't work this is not work keep up the good work i don't work since i know work can stop one day since i know you can wake up one day and you're no longer in work so this is not work So you telling me to keep up the good, this is not work. If this was work, then work is compensated. Then you better be sending me money if you think this is work. This is not work. This is me being me. This is not about getting money. This is not about manifesting anything out of this. This is my spirit doing my spirit's responsibility. What I have always done. This is not work. You think I do this for fun? Sitting in the car until my back is hurting for fun, just to make videos for fun. This is not work. This is beyond many minds to comprehend what I'm doing here. So now, the divide and conquer spells is when now they put you in warring mode. So you're always, you're always fighting. So they give you different baits. War has many different baits. It can be nations against nations. It can be all the way to having wars in your family structures. Now your daddy and mommy can't even agree on each other. The children can't even agree on whether they are a boy or, a, or they are a girl. So it has become so bad that you're even doubting, you're even questioning the bodies that you have picked. So you picked a feminine body, but now you are questioning it. Am I really a feminine or a masculine? That is how deep it goes, esoterically speaking. Now... So the divide and conquer wars that have been ongoing for all those thousands and years are how they keep you distracted, how you build. Because how you build can be a way that they can tap because they like hoping. They may want to tap into that to see how they can build as an individual. Once you start building as an individual and that's your true power, that's your true spiritual power that you have to be one of a kind. A.K.A. having your space within the spaces, within the oneness, within the God, within the force, within the Nyene, within the Allah, within the Abba, within whatever you want to call them, within the one, within the nothing things, because all of them are nothing, just spirits lost in their own desires. Now, so... When you have like-minded people, a.k.a. when I'm trying to wake you up, then you're supposed to see things from your point of view and then teamwork make the dream work. Once now you know when to do the rituals, you're doing them in your location, the other one in your location, 
I in my location, but you are attaching your own meanings and feelings to that, aka your own creature, your own imagination, but you are using the energies of the day. And if we are vibrating on the same level of seeing things, that means you are going to create a creature that is similar, that can only grow in size. And that is how you start a rulership. That is how you start uh, your own world, your own worldview. Whereby they have no option now but to pay attention, to learn from us, to take a seat back, to take some esoteric seat backs as we show them a different way of running the world. Esoterically speaking. But the, the thing is we are planting the seeds whether it's the plants picking it up, whether it's a, the whatever, it's out there. The vibe is out there. The vibration has been sent. You can't ignore it. The right mind frames we tap into that. The right spirits that are on that energy are going to pick it up. The right gods, the right demons. The right hymns, all those hymns, all those lights that resonate with detachment and having their own discernment will pick on that and add their thoughts. And that's how you expand your consciousness, your awareness, your spirit. Become more outer, more lighter, more wing-like. Lighter as in weight. So anything that is lighter in weight by default has to be light, white. You are now you need your angel wings. Now you are not accumulating dark and density and sinking to your animalistic states. Below your animalistic states is below the horizon in the darkness. So uh, that we do in itself as so much if you know how to so forget about the woman queen woman king it was all an allegory for the queen's death and the geometria that they are going to usher in um reacts or how the word how the word reacts to emotions and feelings based on their movies all the way back to the titanic and and, and those kind of with what they are making popular with the woman king in the movies and then so the music and the movies is one then they are going to bring in a religion a certain way of feeling and reacting to emotions based on a religion then they are going to do the all the way to having the war you know, you know what i'm talking about so the way that people are reacting their emotions and feelings is also being engineered with that woman king after the queen passing on so that they can continue that armenia luciferian um uh the unstabbed uh the healthy versus the all the way to slim is the better all the way to orange is the new black all these are baits of separation uh and uh what you call uh i have seen a really bad image That's a really bad image i have i have to after this video oh shit <laughs> 